What's going on everybody? Alex with you here again. Thanks for dropping by. In this hopefully brief video, I would like to take the time to reflect about my overall opinion with regards to the Chestnut Evo having extensively tested it for the past over a month now. Um, and sort of kind of give you guys my feedback and that is also part of the reason why I haven't really made any new videos uh, besides not really having any new chessboards to review. But, uh, you know, essentially I've been playing quite a bit of chess recently and that is primarily due to having this awesome board. Um, because, as you guys probably are aware, I review quite a large number of different electronic chess boards, pretty much everything except if it's like over $2,000. Uh, everything that's out there in the market, I try to get my hands on and review it, show it to you guys. And uh, in the, at the end of the day, a lot of these boards end up sitting on the shelf because uh, but if I want to play chess after work or uh, at the end of the day, I uh, I have to pick and choose what kind of board I'm going to play on. Am I going to choose Square Off Pro? Am I going to choose uh, Square Off Swap? Uh, Chestnut Pro? You know, I, there's a lot of different boards to choose from. And over the past month, the board that I've been coming back again and again to is the Chestnut Evo. Uh, due to the integrative computer system that I have also mentioned to you guys in my review video of this of this board it just makes it so much more direct and easy and user friendly to just hop on at any time that i choose to and play a few games um, so hands down i believe that this board is uh, very unique in a sense that it's uh it's giving us something that we have not seen um with the previous electronic chess boards uh, the chestnut evo has been out on kickstarter uh, for a couple of weeks now and has received a quite a large number of backers in fact my friend uh, Hank has contacted me Hank lives in Europe he actually ordered two one for himself and one for his good friend so um, and Hank usually doesn't buy a lot of electronic chess boards so um, that kind of shows you that there's definitely a lot of interest in in these boards now um, recently and I've been meaning to make this video probably a couple of weeks ago, but I have in fact been traveling to, um, we went to Florida with my family, St. Pete, and uh, to see, to visit some relatives. So it, it was a great trip, but at the same time, it didn't really allow me the time to make videos. So here we are now, slightly delayed, nevertheless. Great to see everybody as usual. Great to see you guys are awesome. But uh, anyways, so recently, I guess a couple of weeks ago, Chestnut has uh, uh, done an update on this board. They've been doing more and more updates as they're sort of getting their, this board ready for mainstream sale. And in that update, they've done a couple of things uh, that I've wanted to mention. Um, hopefully this will be helpful to some people. Uh, first and foremost, if you guys have seen my review video of this board and have seen how the board plays sort of online, on Lee Chess, um, chess.com, there is this sort of a presence and I have had some people comment that at the time when I was doing the review, some people felt like when you're moving the piece, even though it's relatively quick, uh, there's still this slight delay that's present between you moving the piece and the piece uh, moving on the board. Uh, that slight delay might be about a second or so, but if you're playing a game and you really need to count those extra seconds and you want to make sure that you know you're especially for those people who are playing like blitz or bullet they really need all the time they can get and so that little bit of a delay sometimes could make a difference uh well the recent update they have essentially reduced that delay to almost nothing which is really really cool to see uh because now after the update has been done when i'm playing on chess.com for example um, I feel like I have more time because that delay is essentially kind of almost completely removed, uh, which is good to see. And it also makes the overall playing experience a lot more seamless, a lot quicker. Anyways, uh, the second update that they have done is something that they've already done part of that update beforehand. I have mentioned it briefly and now the screen has the ability to flip. So. Uh, if you're playing online, for example, on chess.com or Elite Chess, and let's say, for instance, you have all your pieces set up and you are starting a new game with the random pairing of, you know, you might be paired as black. If you're paired as black and the screen is facing towards you here, the screen will automatically rotate 
that way so that all you have to do at that point is uh, either what I do is I'll just kind of flip the board over or you can walk to the other side of the table and play on that side you know depending on how your board is situated in your room but I have found that that's really useful because previously you you were able to play for black for example but the screen remained turned towards me so that it's not really a big deal but it sort of is turned around so that when you're playing from the black side it, you know you're not seeing the screen the right side up okay um, yeah additionally they've done a number of different small updates sort of in the background to where they've eliminated some of the some of the bugs and some of the sort of uh, small nuances to, to just basically make the overall playing experience a little bit more a little bit more seamless and a little bit more um, user-friendly okay uh, they are also making additional updates uh, hopefully we will be making subsequent videos here to where we'll discuss these updates more in depth but I'm really excited to hear that they are going to be introducing some really really exciting new updates here that will make this board even more uh, sort of versatile when it comes to learning chess and playing chess really good to see that was what I wanted to tell you guys a couple of weeks ago but I haven't really had the chance hopefully you guys have been doing well one of the things I wanted to mention and this has been sort of circulating on my mind for a little while but um, the other day I was able to to take my laptop and connect it to my TV have a little wireless mouse I went to chess.com and was playing uh, on my couch sort of uh, what is it about 15 feet away maybe from from the TV and I played for about maybe about three hours or so maybe uh, and so 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 at the end of the day after playing it and I played in the morning but at the end of the day I felt like my eyes were just sort of like fatigued and and sort of dry and I thought to myself this this is exactly the reason why I've always sort of reinforced the idea that we should all spend more time playing chess in real life whether it's on a wooden chessboard, whether it's on an electronic chessboard, but basically to where you can look at a, a real physical board in real physical sort of natural light and play your games that way. Because too many times, too many people out there, in fact, 99% of everybody uh, enjoys playing chess on, on their phone or on their computer or whatnot without really even realizing the potential drawbacks of constantly having to stare at your screen. Um, you know, you, you think you're doing good for yourself by learning the game, but you're also creating a situation where your eyes are receiving quite a lot of fatigue. And in long term, you don't know what kind of sort of consequences that will pose to perhaps, you know, weakening your eyesight overall. So long story short, I had a direct sort of a reaction to having spent so much time staring at the screen in the morning to directly having fatigue of eyes and sort of dryness of eyes in the evening and just wanted to pass that on to you guys play more real chess if you can uh, play more even if that means you play on some kind of an electronic board it still is going to be much better than having to stare at a screen um, lastly, I wanted to mention that Chess.com wanted me to pass on the news to you guys that they're super excited in celebrating their third year anniversary. With regards to that, I believe they're going to be offering 15% off store-wide. So if you've been sort of on the fence figuring maybe acquiring one of the Chestnut boards, now might be a chance to do so since the discounts a lot of times allow us to save a little bit more money and have more money to spend on other things. Lastly, I wanted to mention that I'll be receiving uh, quite a number of different chess boards here within the next couple of weeks, for which I'm super excited about. And I want to share with you guys these new boards, so be sure to stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, hit the like if you like this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.